Hi, welcome back. This is Garrett with DIY PBX. In the next couple of minutes, you're going to learn how to set up an OBHI ATA with your DIY PBX. Here's Kent, our head trainer, with detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to make that happen. Hey, it's Kent from DIYPBX.com again. This time I want to talk to you about OB ATAs or OB High ATAs. This particular one is an OB 200. Uh, and a lot of people use these with uh, service like Google Talk, but uh, they can work with free PBX uh, too, or I'm sorry, Google Voice. Uh, but they can work with free PBX uh, or DIY PBX as well. So what we're going to do is we have to set up an ITSP profile. And once you get in there, uh, you give it a name. Make sure that the signaling profile is SIP. As you can see, that's default. The DTMF method is we're going to use RFC 2833. You've got a couple options there. RFC 2833 is the best for that. Uh, I like to set the stun, and I set it to stun.sip.us, which is SIPUS's stun server that's publicly available. So that helps us map the NAT. That's in the general tab. Then we go to the SIP tab. Once you get there, uh, I put in the IP address of the DIY PBX for the proxy server, for the registrar server, for the user agent domain, and the outbound proxy. And all of the rest of the settings in here I left as default. It's nice you can see with the OB what you've changed and what you left as default. And as you can see, that's really all I changed was those uh, settings there to the IP address of the DIY PBX server. Once you've done that, you can go to the Voice Services tab, and uh, Service Provider 1 is what we're editing, so that's where we're going to go. In here, uh, I have put in the extension number as the username, and the secret from the extension as the auth password, and I unchecked the message waiting uh, signaling. Then I submitted it. I hit reboot, and from there, uh, you get to the status page, and as you can see, it's registered. And that's really it. Uh, you plug a phone in, and away you go. Thanks for sticking around to the end and watching the entire video. Remember, you can find a complete transcript of this video at DIYPBX.com along with our complete catalog of DIY PBX setup videos. Thanks again for watching and good luck.